Hello. I know it's been a very long time since I recorded anything. Um, so I am back and we're going to do this year's Mission Inspiration for January. So the prompt, I wrote everything down and I've lost it. Um, but let me see if I can see. I will get it in a moment. Um, and one of the steps was to use book page. So I am going to use this page from an, a copy of Alice in Wonderland that I have. That has some really strange images in it. Um, and this is the bit where she goes to see the, the mock turtle with the griffin. So it says griffin on it quite a few times. Which works with the fantasy theme. So let me just grab my jelly gum. cart that I bought from B&M. It's a bit like the Ikea cart but it's got quite a wide shelf. I love it. Okay, so I hope life has been treating you all well. It's been a crazy time hasn't it? And I have been stressed, 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 stressed. This week I'm working 50 hours Today's day off, obviously, um, and I was so tired. It was like nearly eight o'clock, I think, or well, half past seven in the evening, and I'm just feeling ready now to actually come and record. I've just been sitting downstairs, watching a bit of YouTube, and relaxing a bit, trying to get some energy back. Because obviously, I, well, I did a fifteen-hour day yesterday. It's very tiring, um, and the reason for that is because obviously we're a department of four technically. There's me as the cash office manager, and then there's um, three supervisors. One of the supervisors is away on holiday. Um, the other supervisors both work. Well, he works thirty hours normally. But obviously, he's on holiday. Um, one of the, well, both the other supervisors work 20 hours, but one of them is having to self-isolate now, because, of, yeah, well, you know, the situation, things have happened, she's been into contact with someone who has it, so she has to self-isolate for 10 days, which has thrown us into a bit of a... A difficult situation, obviously. The department of four has now become a department of two. So that means that we are going to have to, you know, get on with it. I just keep thinking to myself, put on your big girl panties and get on with it. So, you know, hoping next week will be better because we'll have. back off his holidays so I guess it's just a few moments of panic yesterday when she phoned in and no she didn't phone in we had to phone her because a member of the uh there's another member of our staff that, that sent in her COVID results uh, yeah <laughs> And then we said, oh, you know, you're going to have to self-isolate as well because you were in the car with us the other day and all that. So, yeah. <sighs> Stressful times. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this dry. Um, not entirely sure what I'm going to do, as always. Um, I have sort of started to formulate an idea today, you know, whilst I've been relaxing. So I'm going to dig out colours. I think I'm going to go with colours next. Colours of paint. Um, I'm going to pull up the uh, card on my tablet so I can have a look at the steps and everything. So I'll be back once this is dry. Okay, so that's dry enough now. Um, so here's the uh, the prompt card. Oh, I'm just going to get my light on there. Okay, so we're uh, 
ingredients, stencil, torn, book text, paint, die cut punch, doodles, and then the colours tropical teal, terracotta and golden honey. I don't have a terracotta in the paint. Um, so I may come to that later or I may not. You don't have to use all the colours. Um, I don't usually even watch my videos before. I usually just go with the ones I like <laughs> or have. Which is exactly what Mission Inspiration is about. Now last year I didn't do Mission Inspiration because um, it was different. Um, it was just a phrase or a word and it didn't have the ingredients and that's I feel like I need the ingredients personally just personal choice so I'm really glad that Mike's brought that back this year so what I'm doing is I'm popping these colours out this is actually a piece of resin I was trying to do a, a photo frame thing and I didn't pour enough resin in so it didn't work but it's going to make a good palette excuse me I don't know hot chocolate then it's getting a bit cold that's why I've got the skin on the top <laughs> I was looking for my spray bottle. So, there's a little water. Let me just see if I can find a nice brush. Where is all this? Nice big brush. Water this paint down. We'll just do a nice wash. Obviously, I haven't coated this page with gesso today. Just wanted to crack on, really. <laughs> because it's like it's getting late so I really wanted to start this. I'm off tomorrow as well so I'll probably finish it tomorrow. You hear my voice cracking a little bit. <clears throat> it's just because I'm tired. I really needed these two days off before I do another 15 hour day. <sighs> there we go. We do what we can don't we? I have to feed the nation. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and then I'm not sure whether to go like really crazy with it and do something else as well. Hmm. Just have my little water pot here. Because, um, so I'm using this Dina Wakely gel medium at the moment. I use that for this. I have to say at the moment I am not wowed by it. I've found that when I've tried to use it on projects that my golden medium would have no problem with, um, that just doesn't seem to hold. Like, um, I made some Christmas decorations. Um, my mum bought me some Alice in Wonderland Christmas decorations, so I made some sort of to accompany it. I bought a set of paint your own cups and saucers, little tiny little things like this. And I glued the cups onto the saucers with this gel medium. Um and one of them fell off. And then I had some really tiny plastic cups and saucers. They were really teeny tiny like this big. And I used again I used that gel medium and they were falling apart so it shouldn't really have had that problem. I don't believe it would have done that with the the golden so I just don't think it's I mean if it has to take for paper projects it would be great but for the more heavy duty that I'm used to not so much so okay. so you can still see the writing which is good that's what we want um I'm going to sort of blend a little bit here, so let's grab some more of the yellow, it's going to be a little bit greeny in the middle which is good, it's fine, it's actually quite a nice colour, oddly, there we go, and then we're going to do more that paint, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There we go. It's very wishy-washy. It's fine. I like that. Kind of goes with my theme that I am thinking I'm going for. <laughs> hmm. Die cut or punch. Stencil will be easy because I can use some circle stencils on there. So maybe we'll go with that next and give us time to think about die cut. I will dry this up and clear this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the stencil and some white paint. This is an ultra chalk soft matte paint from Artsy. Um, mm, separates me a little bit. Could probably give it a good shake up. Maybe. I need some new sponges. I just realised. I haven't done a lot of crafting for a while. I've done, I do sort of resin pieces because I can do a little bit on those and then go to work and let them cure and come back and do another bit if I want to, you know. So, uh, incense holders, which I love, and some uh, necklaces with rainbows in. Ah, see, this paint's a little bit wet. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's too Let's try it again with just a little bit of paint. Yeah, it's better. Doesn't have to be perfect and what they're just doing it too blotchy. I want you to be able to see that it's the stencil. That's much better. Blotchy again, a bit more careful. I had a feeling that was too much paint. You really need to sort of blot off as much as you can, I think. Especially when your paint's this runny. If it was a bit thicker, it wouldn't be too bad. Okay, uh, I think that will do. Okay. Have a look with that. Okay, so just want to add this pinked earth on the tents. Red. And then the orange, tangerine, it's called. Just try and get some of that terracotta colour coming in. Brush is still damp. Um, yeah. 
trying to go around, but it's not, it's not happening, is it? Should have uh, added some gesso, I think. Never mind. But that's good. So, I was going to do. An underwater thing. Then I changed my mind. So I'm gonna have this lily, which is a die cut. I'm gonna take some wings for the fantasy thing. Uh, and she's got her arm out. So I was thinking, you know, she needs a pet unicorn. Obviously. So I'm just gonna stick that down. Joking again. So. Some on her. Wings on. Perhaps I'll move them on the wings. That's too fussy. I've got like razor edges of that. I can fill up that side. I'll just fiddle with that bit. No one needs to find a quote. Are we? Okay. okay guys. So I don't know if it's my battery or my battery charger, but I'm having to run this off the mains again. I thought it was just needed in need of charge, but uh hmm. Doesn't seem to be working very well. So try and figure that out. So I've got my quote, and this is sort of a paraphrase from a Dr. Seuss quote. And I've stamped it onto a stick of paper in fired brick. Distressed ink. And I'm just going to pop it 
well. Now the word nonsense is too long so what I'm going to do is cut it down a little bit and stick it back together. Just get rid of some of the spaces between the letters. So I'll do that. Just to show you, if it doesn't say it again. Let's see if we can do this. some of the gaps as they are just to make it tie in with the rest. It's very rough and not neat at all. <laughs> I wanted that kind of chaotic nonsensey kind of feel. Do this one, and then I will um, probably switch the camera off and do the rest. I'm trying to save myself some editing time because my laptop's not very good either. <laughs> continue with that, come back when we're ready to do the doodles. So for doodles I'm going to do the cliche, you know, <laughs> not very good at doodles. help bring the words together with the background and into focus and all that. Uh, let's get this. Oh window. It started snowing again today. How nice I'm not. So that means tomorrow when I go back, because it's actually the day after I start filming this, this is day two. Um, somebody went to bed, so I stopped filming. <laughs> um, so I could sleep. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is my next 15 hour day, and I'm going to have to leave the house at 5 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm sorry, 6. I'm going to get up at 5. <laughs> leave the house at 6. Um, it's going to be horrible out there, cold, slippery, I do not like winter. <laughs> there we go, and then I'm just going to put on the bottom here, Dr. Seuss, because that's who gave us the quote. Uh, hmm. Just a little scribbly border just to bring the page in and lie in a little bit. And there we go. And I have some 
just get a little bit more so can I get this much? Okay. No, it's okay. So today's date is the 14th. And I put the 14th of the first 21. And I'm just gonna put M I so that we know this is a mission inspiration page. And I think I can call that done. So yeah, so I've the red brick is kind of a terracotta colour, so we've got the uh, yellow, it's taking my hands, sorry, it's the ink, <laughs> and the, the uh, teal, we've got a die cut, we've got paint, we've got stencil, what else was there? <laughs> Seems fantasy doodles, die cut, stencil, paint, doodles, is there anything else? Mm. I think that was it. I'll come back to you if that, if that wasn't it. <laughs> I'll finish it off, but no. Pretty happy with that page, it's very fun nonsensical, funny, enjoyed doing it. So, uh, I'm going to wrap up with this video, maybe start doing another one, I'm thinking uh, Martyr's 5 Supply Challenge next, so stay tuned for that. Um, probably get this video edited next week when I have my next days off. <sighs> so yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next mission inspiration. I uh, can't wait. Uh, and we'll see if I decide to do the mini missions as well. It hasn't, it hasn't been published yet, obviously. Um, might come out tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. It's next Saturday. We'll see. Anywho, I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Stay home, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye bye.